Brian, just push that back. Go ahead and force it. It'll, it'll wedge behind. There you go. It'll wedge. Woo! Please rise. Please be seated. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God signifying unto us the mystical union that is betwixt Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence and first miracle that he wrought in Cana of Galilee, and is commended by holy scripture to be honorable among all, and therefore is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, soberly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate these two persons present come now to be joined. If any man can show just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak, or else hereafter, forever, hold his peace. I require and charge you both, as you'll answer at the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed, that if either of you know any impediment, while you may not lawfully be joined together in matrimony, you do now confess it. For be well assured that if any persons are joined together otherwise, then as God's word doth allow, their marriage is not lawful. Joshua, wilt thou have this woman to be thy wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance, in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her, so long as you both shall live? Absolutely. There's no affirmative. <laughs> Celeste, wilt thou have this man, to be thy wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love him, comfort him, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him, so long as you both shall live? Thank you very much. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? <laughs> Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, 
We thank you today for Joshua and Celeste, for leading them to each other in friendship and love, commitment and trust, and for bringing them here for the blessing of their marriage. Grant that they may grow together in love and peace with one another and with you all the days of their life. Give them wisdom and devotion in everyday life, that they may be to each other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Provide them with grace when they hurt one another, to recognize and acknowledge their fault, and to seek each other's forgiveness. Fill them with such love and joy that they may build a home of peace and welcome. Give them such fulfillment of their affection that they may reach out in love and concern for others. May the loved ones gathered here to witness these vows and those separated by distance be strengthened and blessed this day. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Joshua, please repeat that again. I, Joshua. I, Joshua. Take thee, Celeste. Take thee, Celeste. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better and for worse. For richer, for poorer. For when we're rich and we're broke. <laughs> In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. I, Celeste. Take thee, Joshua. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance. If I may have the ring. Bless the Lord these rings. May those who wear them abide in thy peace and continue in thy favor unto their life's end through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. <laughs> With this ring, I thee wed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. At this time, I would ask everyone to please join us in reciting the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, who has so consecrated the state of matrimony that in it is represented the spiritual marriage and unity to Christ and his church, Look mercifully upon these thy servants, that they may love, honor, and cherish each other, and so live together in faithfulness and patience, in wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a heaven of blessing and of peace, through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth 
and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Joshua and Celeste have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and thereto have given and pledged their troth each to the other, and have declared the same by giving and receiving a ring, and by joining hands, I pronounce that they are husband and wife, yeah. in the name of the Father, and of the Son, yeah. and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Joshua. Yes. You may kiss your bride. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get a bouquet. Let's get your bouquet. Turn and face everyone. Right. Offer up your arm, sir. Hold on just a moment. It is my honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. All right. 